As the U.S. economy recovers from the pandemic, wages are going up, but prices are also rising, faster than any time in the last 40 years. Rapidly rising costs for housing, gasoline, food, cars and trucks, and other goods and services are raising concerns over a return to the runaway inflation of the 1970s. How worried should we be? And what can be done? If large price increases were limited to one sector, like automobiles, they would likely soon pass as demand wanes and supply expands. But prices have been increasing across multiple sectors, not just those where supply is short, possibly signaling a more lasting problem. A sudden inflation spike can make it harder to afford basic goods and services, and the value of people's savings that are in cash erodes. Some borrowers, on the other hand, may find it easier to pay off debts. Note that not all inflation is problematic. A stable, low rate of inflation can reduce uncertainty about what a dollar will be worth. When inflation is too low or goes negative, known as deflation, it's harder for central banks to respond to downturns. Why is inflation rising? Consumers are spending more on goods than they did before the pandemic, such as groceries, furnishings, or vehicles. The government stimulus in early 2021 spurred some of the spending, and consumers are spending less on services like restaurants or travel. The shift in consumer demand is raising goods prices more than it is reducing services prices. As demand for goods surged, supply chains and transportation hubs have been disrupted by COVID-19. It's a basic law of economics. When demand outstrips supply, prices go up. Demand has also risen as the job market tightened. Unemployment has returned to a very low level, but many more Americans have left the workforce than normal since the start of the pandemic. The U.S. was missing around 3 million workers as of February 2022. The shortage has further limited supply and driven up wages. Some of these additional labor costs have been passed along to consumers. What can policymakers do? The Federal Reserve can tighten monetary policy, which means raising interest rates and creating less favorable financial conditions. Tighter monetary policy also raises the value of the dollar relative to other currencies. U.S. products become more expensive for foreigners, reducing demand for exports and upward pressure on prices. But the Fed must take care in balancing its priorities. Tightening policy too much would slow the economic recovery and could raise unemployment. It can be difficult to put brakes on the economy without overdoing it and causing a recession. Ending the backlog in U.S. shipping could ease inflation by increasing supply, but this won't happen overnight. Updating port infrastructure would help alleviate congestion, but will take time. COVID-19 outbreaks abroad have forced port and factory closures that contributed to product shortages. Ensuring global access to vaccines should be an economic priority as well as a humanitarian imperative. More vaccinations would reduce the likelihood of new variants emerging. Lower risk of infection will encourage spending to shift from goods to in-person services like travel, potentially easing pressures on prices overall. Controlling COVID-19 could also help with labor shortages. Around 2 million people were not working in January for fear of getting or spreading the virus. Many employers are increasing wages to attract workers. A more open immigration policy could also ease labor shortages. In the 1970s, the Nixon administration tried using wage and price controls to curb inflation. But businesses were very creative in evading price controls, and prices shot back up when freezes were lifted. Voluntary wage and price guidelines by the Carter administration also failed. Policies that encourage competition may provide some temporary relief in sectors where a small number of firms dominate the market, like food and energy. Removing lingering trade war tariffs on products from China would also trigger a small one-time drop in import prices. Tackling inflation will likely be one of the most challenging economic problems of 2022. The Russian invasion of Ukraine is likely to make the situation worse, with energy prices spiking further and more disruptions to supply chains. With an economic recovery that is still very incomplete and threatened by global crises, the U.S. must proceed carefully.